what is up what is up it's Kovin here and welcome back to the channel so today i wanted to have a serious conversation about the direction that outer plane is going into now i know i probably put some clickbait title or like a clickbait uh thumbnail i normally don't do that but i mean i want to put some attention onto this video so yeah <clears throat> the clickbait might seem like i'm being negative but just the disclaimer right here at the very beginning this video is not meant to be negative about outer plane it's meant to be a positive message there's no animosity or hate towards outer plane and the people making it right and i'm not trying to undermine anyone's um creative thought process or like implementation of a strategy to make a great gacha game right <clears throat> but today i'm just gonna go through some points right about outer plane and i have two things to say one is generally about the type of game outer plane is trying to be the second point is what i what i think should be the direction for outer plane right and it might clash with what i want but i feel like that's what the devs want and what what prompted me to have this um video this discussion is this post that i saw on reddit um so i looked into this and yes i saw it on twitter as well um the jp version of outer plane is coming out may 7th right <clears throat> and we know may is our um like you know release month right like that's when outer plane released it's going to be like anniversary coming for like global right <clears throat> so um a jp release either completely kills the game or it makes the game right especially if a game is low in terms of interaction um currently auto plane is kind of low in terms of interaction of like a visible player base right like a visible player base on the internet i know there's always an invisible player base you know people who just log in do stuff and then log out right i know those exist and, and they do not search it on youtube they do not uh interact with any other community but in terms of community interaction um, for the type of game outer plane is it is um it, it needs to have an online presence now now let me get into my problem with the current version of outer plane i think outer plane is currently confused as to what it wants to be and confused games are bad games confused games never make it into the jp market they all go there to die right like it, it is what it is they all go there to die now in terms of turn-based rpgs there's always been two types of turn based rpgs there's been turn based rpgs that are specifically for waifu collection right neutral cloud uh ever soul nikkei stuff like that people are there for the characters and the waifus and then the gacha games that people are there for pvp i mean those are dying off but you know just epic seven someone as well it's basically the old ones the ones in the earlier version they have like a pvp aspect to it now outer plane is an idea to mix waifus and pvp now this idea has already been trialed tried and it has already failed right like this idea has already failed like this is what i want you guys to understand is that what outer plane is trying to do the combination of waifus and pvp has already failed there's a game called artery gear fusion artery gear fusion is really the first game well not really the first game but like <clears throat> it, it it did this to the max like it it went through the path that outer plane is following right now and artery gear has failed right like artery gear fusion has failed it had hot waifus it made collaborations with um animes that were all about waifus waifu anime it was basically just the waifu collector but they put in the aspect the backbone of epic seven and summoners war the gear farming 
was epic seven summoners war and the pvp was epic seven summoners war right and that's what outer plane is is trying to do as well this game has announced its final its final patch in the kr server and the kr server is like four months ahead of global so global will also have its final its, its final server its final update it's a last update <clears throat> very cool so very closely so eos is close right and i mean to just some sentiment from people who liked it right they say the theme was good the story was good the characters had the right proportion of whatever makers global fucked it up with whatever whatever and you know there's always the oh is this the better epic 7 game you know better quality you know quality basically they main skip tickets and stuff like that this is out of play this is literally out of play now <clears throat> Atari Gear Fusion ha had already tried its market. Like if you guys can see where it is, right? Global making 40k, China making 27, <laughs> and uh Japan um being the flop um that it is. And it's not the first one to fail in, in Japan. This slide also failed. Because at the time, this slide also had this facade of when it launched in Japan, it had this facade of oh, I'm also going to be a, a not exactly a waifu collector but i'm gonna focus on good designed characters but also focus on pvp guys this does not work does this does not work an outer plane is going into a dangerous field especially releasing in jp in the state that it is right now releasing waifu every patch and also promising to have rta and a balanced pvp system these things do not match because waifu games have um specific things that people who play them like to do right and pvp games also have specific balancing requirements for the rta mode right no game has ever found a a middle ground and i don't think there is that because people who like collecting waifus for waifu's sake do not care about pvp and people who play pvp mostly they, like they're okay with the, like they want the characters to look good but they don't have to be waifu like this for example like in my case this can be a cube like it can be a box and the only difference is like this is a red box blue box <laughs> or, or, or like yellow box right box what does box do right like this casing it can be whatever like when it looks good it looks good right but it's not about it looking good as priorities it's the skills and stuff like that and the balance and the pvp right so let's get back i kind of um didn't have direction for a while there what is the problem problem is that outer plane is trying to follow a route that has already failed a waifu game that is also a pvp game this is not good outer plane needs to pick what it's going to be and i think it had it's already picking and you can clearly see with the jp releases and the latest and the latest units they should focus on being a waifu game right now waifu games have extra stuff with them right like that have nothing to do with pvp they can still launch rta they have the mainframe they already did the beta right like it exists but they should folk go back to making more story people who play waifu games play waifu games also for their story it is marketed as an isekai right continue in that isekai vein make more stories make more ways to interact with the waifus in the game right it can't just be um you level them just to use them and they just look good for you know look good sake in pvp no 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 no. this does not work with people who play waifu games they need interaction the gift section the gift section like we farm gifts to give them but not to like give them to form any bond or connection with the characters it's to get the exclusive equipment <laughs> that's literally the gift section so like they should make it you know 
like you guys know you've played like stuff like ever so they have like mini houses where you can interact you know there's progression in relationships with the waifu as well i think that's where outer plane needs to focus it really does because the pvp market <clears throat> like the pvp gacha market is dying out modern audiences do not want to play a gacha game that is pvp i think i've made peace with this like no one wants to come into a game and play with someone who has spent a lot of dollars to get to get that strength like no one does that right oh like no one is interested in that anymore like that's no longer a thing and i think some a game like this like figured this out very early right hoyoverse put the net it was the final nail to make people realize hey you can have a gacha game that is exclusively exclusively pve this is possible right and if you see most of the top ones it normally is just about collection right for example uma masume guys guys you guys know <laughs> i don't have to say much on that one right there's another one that's even memento mori this one dude it even sells songs it has special songs like you guys know how waifu games are like i don't have to speak too much on it but you guys can see how they do it so i think that's what outer plane needs to do focus on being a waifu game the era of having gacha games that have duplicate heroes be a viable pvp game is gone it is gone and no one cares you can have some arena you know like the ai arena that's fine even nikkei has an ai arena right but it's not mainly a pvp game like no one like there's a few people who are serious about the ai arena in nikkei they all know why they're there for the story for the plot <laughs> for the plot that they are playing nikkei for the plot right uh if you know you know so that's what that's what i wanted to say for them to have a successful jp release they need to clean it out have more functions towards making waifus being a thing become a fully fledged waifu game because it is what it is right now the waifus are the content and have been the content for the past three months right that's just that's about it every other content that we get uh just feels like half-baked repeatable uninspired and which is probably true about most gacha games but it is more true about how to play anyway guys i think i've said most of what i can say about this topic um Outer Plains getting a JP version. If you are going to succeed in JP, you have to embrace the waifu side and go a bit easy on the PvP side because, I mean, having that mix has already failed. Atari Gear Fusion has already failed. Atari Gear Fusion did all the releases it could, right? It released in China, didn't work. It released global, didn't work and it released in jp and it is still a game that is going under and that's what i wanted to say about that i have been kovian thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video